What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Rising World. In the last episode, I was just showing that I built this thing here. I don't know. I was going to build a lean-to, but I think this has kind of surpassed the status of lean-to. So I guess it's a workshop slash outbuilding. I built this as well, which was super anticlimactic because it takes like 32 iron rod, 32 iron plates and a bunch of aluminum and all you can do is make a light bulb with it um i mean the lights are kind of cool but not that much resource is cool you know, it sounds like i'm complaining but i'm actually not i just was surprised to find out that you couldn't really do anything with that table here's what we're after today right now i just kind of need to survey the property a little bit because i have a plan and my plan involves Switching things up just a little bit. I know this build here I did completely off camera because I just wanted to get used to the the construction system. Um, so what I want to do now is actually I have a house picked out. I'm going to just take this thing down, this house up here, or maybe we'll just make it into like a little uh, in-law cabin type of a thing. I don't know. We'll figure something out. But here's what I want to do. This is the house that I want to make. And I don't know where I want to put it yet. This is a converted barn. And I just found this actually. It's off of a real estate website. So it's not actually somebody's home. Well, at least this photograph anyway. This is just a some kind of a computer rendering. It even gave me the floor plans, which I thought was pretty cool. So I'm going to try to see how accurately I can build this thing. And what my plan is, while I'm on my way to go up and sleep so we can get to some daytime, I'm going to do the whole build on camera. It's going to be definitely multiple episodes, but I'm going to edit through them so you don't have to sit through all the boring spots and everything. And I would suggest to not use this as a tutorial. I'm going to try to make it as detailed as I can, so it might end up being tutorial worthy. I don't know. And we're starting to get a nice little view up here. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to leave this here and turn it into something just because we got the cool view because I think the house I don't want to put it up on top of a hill that doesn't look like a house that should be up on top of a hill because if it's a converted barn it should be more in a flat land I think so let's get it to daytime and we'll figure out where we're going to put this thing okay so I guess this is where the house is going to be I'm just going to spend some time. This is going to be the boring stuff here. So I am going to clear out this spot of land. So let me get this cleared out. That's going to take some time. And I will be back in just a second. So we got everything pretty well leveled down how I want it. Or at least for right now how we need it. Okay, so we have an official plan. But... I need a lot of wood, so I'm just going to go, well, actually, real fast here, because I see, well, carrots I don't think do much for helping me out. Let's go over to this guy's farm and steal some tomatoes. Old man Brown won't find out. Okay, now let's go find some, well, I, don't, I guess we don't have to find it. Let's go get some wood. And again, I'm not going to torture you guys with the boring spots. But I will let you see pig butts and things like that. I don't know. I think this is like part pig, part ostrich. Oh, hello. Yes, I do have an axe pointed at your forehead. But I'm going to let you be today. All right. Well, I guess uh, what I'll do, I'm just going to start taking trees down. They grow pretty quick, so... I'll make sure I grab saplings as well, and we'll just uh, replant as we go. All right, so I'm just going to do this for a little bit, and uh, I'll see you back at the house. I didn't even look to see how much wood I ended up getting. It should at least be enough to, to get us started. So this is what we need to do. We need to figure out what our basic starting block is going to be. It's going to be some kind of a stone block for the foundation. But I don't know which block it's going to be yet. So let's have a look. So it looks like it's just on like a cement slab. So i got to figure out what the proportions of the house are going to be. I'll start with that 
right front corner because it's got those two windows in there. If I get that one wall built right there, then that'll pretty much give me a, an idea of how big the rest of the house needs to be. I just need to see those two windows to get the proportion started anyway. And then I should be good. Now I think what I'm going to do for the outside is I'm going to I'm going to build the outside using blocks like the the actual exterior walls. I'll build those using blocks, but then I think I am going to make like a a little plank overlay over the tops of those and to give it that kind of a slat look. Cuz I think if I make the walls out of blocks, it's going to be a lot easier to do the windows and stuff like that. I'll probably just end up using a traditional stone. Yeah, I think for right now we're just going to use uh, just a regular stone block. We'll fancy stuff up a little bit later. What do we want to use? Let's see, I don't think I want to use planks. I want to use wood blocks. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to quite match that color. That's all right, though. I just want to see what these look like. Oh, hello, pig. What's up, buddy? No, that might work. So what I was thinking was to make the slats, I can just get some planks and lay the planks down. I just need one narrow strip, like maybe one or two strips, or probably two strips per block. Yep, I think that'll work. So we're just going to leave that. We'll have a nice little uh, contemporary art. We'll let the pig enjoy it. So... Just in case I don't end up liking it, I'm not going to make a ton of these. Alright, so let's figure out exactly where our footprint is going to be over here. Yeah, I'm going to have to start in the left. Whoops. I'm throwing stuff. I'm going to start on the left and work my way to the right. Yeah, we're going to start it right here. Alright, so there's our official starting spot right there. So two blocks, and then the window. Window would be about three. Let's see, I'm not including the porch in this right now because I, I want to get the actual footprint of the house itself. So that means we're going to come back this way. All right, because I'm going to be misplacing a lot of blocks. I got myself into creative mode here. I'm not going to spawn anything in because I'm doing this, trying to make this survival as much as I can. Uh, just to make the build go quicker so I can just one hit things when I do screw them up. We want to go a little bit wider. I gotta take into account that these blocks are so wide. Okay. Now I know I'm doing this in a really, really screwy way, but that's okay. Okay, so that's gonna go just all the way across. One, two, one, two, three. One. Damn it. I put one like way over on the ground there. One, two, one. One, two. Okay, so that works out. Okay, so it's not going to be exactly. Yeah, this thing's, this place is going to be big. <laughs> not going to be exactly like it just because of the proportions with the blocks and stuff like that, but there is. The start of that front room. I could make that room a little bit smaller, but let's see uh, from the inside because we're going to have the, the walls. That's why I made it a little bit wider is just because the walls, they're going to take up that whole extra thickness. I don't want this to be a tiny, tiny house. Yeah, I think that's a good size room. Yeah. Okay, so now we want to go two over and then that's going to be the door go over let's see if that's the door then we're going to go over two and then window one of those window oops <laughs> that's why I put myself on creative Yep, gotta come one more over with the stone, and one more over with the block, and then the stone will start coming this way. I think we might have some of this figured out. 
All right, let's go get some more wood since obviously that's what I'm going to end up using. Okay, had to go sleep real quick and I need to make some more blocks. And one thing, because I do want to do this with actual inventory, um, I think I have to... go back into regular mode and then take my blocks. Next, I think if I'm in creative, it just makes as many as you want. And I don't want to do that. If I run out of wood, I'm going to go chop down trees. All right, so now let's get back into you. OK. Yeah, I think that's going to be a decent size house. Right now I'm just kind of putting stuff down to get the proportions. I want to just see how big everything is going to end up being here. Okay, so that's that's pretty much the whole front facade there. And then here, let's see. Let's get let's get this wall completely built, just this one little section here. Because I want to see if my idea is going to even work. Okay, so that's how big that wall is going to be. So let's get some planks real fast. And I hope I can make these the same color. I should be able to. Okay, so I don't know if the wood ID... Let's say... We'll just say wood ID is 62. So let's go into... I don't know if this is how this works or not. We're going to we're going to find out if we go to 62. Okay, that looks like the same one. All right. So now let's craft a bunch of these. Oh, what? I'm I'm in creative, damn it. <laughs> how many did I just make? I made 6 I made 16 of them. All right. Well, I'm just going to keep those. Don't tell anybody. I want to see if my idea is going to look any good here. Because we don't want just a flat face. Nobody wants a flat face. Alright, so. Now this is where I'm going to get all confused again here. Because I'm not very good at this yet. Probably something like that. Here, let's see what our house looks like. Okay, so according to the proportions of that house, anyway. Got two of these slats in between. So let's get a grid up here and see. Alright, so we hit G to get the grid. Plus and minus changes our grid size. So maybe if we do one of these, let's see what this will end up looking like. If we do... Let's try every other one and just see what it looks like. And then we'll have to, yeah, I'll probably end up doing a corner trim. So let's see how this lines up. Do that one, that one. And then the corner trim. And then these are going to need to be shortened. And we might end up changing a bunch of this later, I don't know. I'm just playing around to see what works. Alright, I got the sun in my eyes, I can't tell. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. I think we need a little more of it to be built before we can figure that out. But... And it also doesn't help with the sun in my eyes. I think once the sun starts moving around, it's going to cast shadows on all of these. And I think that's what will end up bringing out the texture of having those slats. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Now, I don't want these episodes to be super long. So I think we're just going to wrap it up right here. And we'll get the actual proportions laid out. 
in our next episode, we'll get a uh, see how far back we need to go because the uh, the house goes it's pretty wide on the bottom view or in the bottom photograph. There's that door right in the middle and just a bunch of wood walls on the side. So it's pretty wide. Yeah, I think we got a good start anyway. What kind of a view do we have out our windows here? Not bad. All right. So I think that's good for now. If anybody has any suggestions on better building techniques, I am all ears. Like I said, I'm still a rookie builder at this, so I'm just trying to get these builds and get a little bit of practice done. I have some pretty cool ideas for when the water updates come. So I'm just going to hone the skills here for a little bit until that happens. So let me know what you think. Give me some suggestions, some ideas. And uh, as always, I appreciate everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave me a like. I appreciate that as well. And I will see you guys next time.